trying to clean up the road a little bit so we don't leave grass on the road. Some some uh, guy comes along and is like, I'm going to fine you $50,000 for having grass on the road. I know they wouldn't really do that, but, you know. As a bicyclist, I hate it when, when there's crap left on the roads like that. But I haven't been able to get out bicycling much. Not recently. All the floods that happened, all the roads are crap. So, I don't even bother. Just stay at home. Ride the bike on the trainer. Anyway. Yeah, this, this is going to work. I'm, I'm not 100% happy with having to go chase all this stuff all over the tarnation. <coughs> which means I probably should go get another wind rower. But I'm thinking is I could um, maybe look at picking up a maybe taking a little bit more of this field over into grass and then picking up a wind rower and a yeah, a wind rower <coughs> but that's I just sold the wind rower so why would I go buy another one? Well, I'd buy a smaller one, that's for sure made a mess out of this, really. <sighs> well, what do you expect, right? What have you guys come to expect? Certainly not well thought out things, that's for sure. Alright. Cool. So, um, so a lot of you guys, uh, uh, commented on my thing about the bunkers. <clears throat> so I'm going to ask another question, and, and and this is just because I see things as I'm going to work. Because I go by several farm fields on the way to work. <clears throat> and um, and I see them out doing things, and I'm like, why why are they doing that? What's, what's going on? So, right now, it's getting on towards winter here. And They've harvested all of the corn and wheat. And I saw them out doing the last of the hay because we're supposed to get snow soon. <clears throat> and then I, I, I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen it before where like in December, they'll be out there with a cultivator. And I'm just like, why are you cultivating it when you can't plant anything I guess you could plant something, but they don't usually plant anything. I guess I don't understand the whole why you would cultivate a field and just leave it sit like that in a climate like ours, because the climate here in Colorado is very arid, sort of desert-ish. So my thought is, well, that wouldn't that, like, seriously deplete the the uh, the nutrients in the soil to leave it open to the air like that. But maybe I'm crazy. I also might be remembering stuff incorrectly, which does happen from time to time. <clears throat> ah, the excavator. Let's talk about that. You got... <laughs> You guys all told, there's been a few of you telling me, get rid of the excavator, get rid of the excavator. It's costing you big money. It is. It is indeed costing me big money. Um, I think it's 300 a day to have that excavator sitting there. And I haven't really used it. Here's my thing. I like excavators and I like that excavator. <laughs> It really comes down to, I like it. Um, in the real world, I could see so many more uses for that excavator. Because you could use it as a makeshift crane. You can use it as a, as a digging device. You can use it to tear down buildings, which is also really cool. <clears throat> I think that's cool. I really like excavators. When, um, I tell you guys a story. 
because it's story time now while I'm driving this around. Um, so when I was little, before kindergarten or something like that, um, at lunchtime during, during the summer, my mom would make like, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and we'd grab a, a bunch of potato chips or crisps, as you call them in the UK. And we'd go, they were doing a lot of construction at the time. So we would go to where they were doing all the construction. We would sit on the hilltop and we would watch the construction equipment. And I remember absolutely loving doing that. And my favorite was always the excavator because it was like the most useful vehicle out there. They needed to put a pipe in the ground, get the excavator. They needed to dig a hole for the pipe. Well, that's the excavator too. They, they needed to, to tear down the building that was somewhere. Well, they called the excavator. I was like, that is like the coolest vehicle ever because it gets to do everything. And, and to give you an idea of the kind of kid I was, I was like, oh, that means I would never be unemployed for some odd reason. Believe it or not, I was really that kind of kid. So I always loved excavators. I got my own excavator. It's right there. Oh, isn't it cute? It might be virtual, but still, I have an excavator. That's why I'm like res- reluctant to part with it. It's like, oh, I don't want to part with my excavator. Even though here in this game, let's be brutally honest, the excavator is pretty limited in what it can do. What are we doing over there? Other vehicles? Well, it looks like. So I'm kind of in a I'm kind of at a point where I'm like I should get rid of the excavator because it's costing money, but it's an excavator, and that's that's an excavator, and I likes it. So yeah, I might do it. I might get rid of it. We'll have to see. Financially, it would make a heck of a lot of sense because I'm not going to use it for a heck of a lot. I would have to pick up something to do to pull silage out of there, and it would probably end up being something like uh, rebuying the bobcat pit. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Oh, never mind. It's John Deere again. Zoom, he goes. He's just flying. Um, yeah. I'd have to buy something else to pull the silage out of the pit. I probably just end up eating the silage forks again for the the bobcat. But yeah, that's that's where I am with that. I'm at fifty four percent of the grass for this. This hasn't been the most entertaining episode in terms of me doing things, other than showing you a little bit of course play and totally derping it up with the uh, wind rower. Windrower? No. Tedder. Alright, there we go. I had a really funny comment. Okay, I don't think they meant to be funny, but I thought it was hilarious. They said the map was flat. Yeah, that's not flat. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Um, it, it's not flat. This looks flat if you stand in one spot. There's some pretty darn big hills right over there. There's that hill right there. It's at a field that goes up a hill. Yeah. It just looks flat if you're if you're not knowing where to look. Alright. I think we are getting Ugh. Yeah, we, we gotta do something about about grass collection. <laughs> Can I collect... Okay, you guys who, who have have spent time goofing with the equi- with the stuff that I mod spotlight because I only, can only goof so much with it. The Mish Station, can I just put straight grass in that? That would make life so much easier if I could just put straight grass and then have to windrower it. Then I could sell the windrower. <laughs> Not windrower, dadgummit, tetter. Tedder, tedder, dare, tedder. Right, tedder. 
like Teddy Roosevelt. Or not, as the case might be. Let's get this. Got 60% and growing. Hmm. All right, there. Perfect. <laughs> nice. So we're going to be done here. Uh, how are we doing on the... Okay, those guys are doing okay over there. I just have to keep reading what's going on. Um, and I, you notice I have two different inspector mods now. Um, I've got the multiplayer one. The multiplayer one. Um, and then I've got the one that I've been using. The one I've been using gives me more data. The multiplayer one is easier to read. Because let's be honest, the one in the top left is kind of hard to read. I know I can change colors and stuff like that, but it's just a little bit difficult on the eyes. So I got the big, I got the multiplayer one on here because I find it easier to read it when I just need a quick snapshot of what's going on. And then I use the uh, the other one when I need to get more in-depth information. Can I get that? Nope, I cannot. But I can get this over here. Okay, and cut back. No. All right, fine. Oh, there's more grass there. We can cut that grass up, too. In the end, I think... I think two loads of this fills up a silo. Of course, once I do that, it's going to immediately start processing the grass. So, yeah. Then I have to load more forage, and then I have to load more straw. And everything just starts to cycle, which is cool. Cool. And I need to come through here with the plow and get rid of this crap that I've guffed in here. Because I'm sorry, that just looks so ugly right there. I gotta get rid of it. it. Just looks bad. We need to have a nice, clean look to our farm. Or as clean as my farm can ever be. Because let's be quite honest. I'm never gonna have a clean, clean farm. The tear truck still moving. Yeah, he's still moving. All right. Go. Nice. We're almost done. I promise. We're almost done with the grass. But this is farming, at least for me right now. I know all of you are just holding your breath for the next derp up. <laughs> I don't always screw up. Just, just a lot of the time. Ah, refreshing drinks. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. I think we only have a few more passes. I hope. Because I'm getting tired of, of, of this as well. Oh, I missed that. I was hoping to get that. Oh, well. I got only, it only lifts my tractor once in a while. It's awesome. Go. Perfect. Yay. Not perfect. Boo. <laughs> uh. But, hey, with this. Oh, yeah. This means that we're going to. Yeah, this means that we're going to have all of... We're going to be able to get our cows up to 100%. We're going to get more milk. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Did I leap? Mixing plant one has... Hay silo. The hay silos? Oh, wait. No, that would be... That would make sense because this is the hay silo. Derp. I, I was thinking for a second that the straw silo was empty. No. The hay silo there. 
Wait. That's okay because we're gonna fix that here in a bit. Yeah, I missed one spot. All right, enough of that. And I think, I think there's a little bit over here, but I don't care enough to get it, so. All right, the class is still working. Oh, they're doing a good job. They're just about, I think they've just about finished the field. Good for them. Good for them. And we got to start them on the other field. Ew. What I might do is advance time to try to get that other piece of the field to grow so that I can just have them work all in one big field. We'll see, though. There we go. And then this should be going up. Yep, look at that. Nice. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's a third, so I need three loads. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's run this over here. Park this guy up. Like that. All right. Cool, Leo. All right. Let's uh, see how they're doing. Oh, yeah, they're almost done. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work, though. And here he comes. He's just balling it, too. Look at him. Vroom. Yep. <laughs> All right. Where is our uh, harvester? There he is. Big Smokey. We're going to call him Big Smokey, by the way. I have decided, based on the fact that he's constantly spewing smoke like that. Did you complete? What do you got? Looks like you got two runs. Hmm. Three runs. Two rounds. Two rounds. All right, so one down and back. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I sowed this field in oat by complete and total mistake. I didn't intend to reseed the same uh, product into the same field, but I did by accident. Oops. <laughs> what can you do? You no, know, you can't always remember everything, right? Did we get our new lamb? No, we did not. Aww. He must be on his way any time now. I shall call him Lammy. Wow, chomp. All right, so, yeah. What else do we need to do? He's doing that. That field needs to be done eventually. That field's almost grown. That field has just started growing. I guess I could probably start replanting. Oh, I know what I can do. Let me show you, let me refill this tractor, <laughs> first of all. And then I'm gonna show you a, uh, this guy's a gas guzzler. Huh. Then I'm gonna show you something else, so let me. Fill him up. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make the 50 per... Well, no, he'll probably make 50%. Big Smokey. Big Smokey. That's enough. All right. So, let's go deal with one other thing. One of the things that I find the most useful about course play is fertilizing because I hate fertilizing. I'm terrible at fertilizing because I'm always missing something. I'm going to fill this guy all the way up. 
like that. Good. All right. So fertilizing is probably one of the most annoying things to do in the game. <clears throat> because you can easily overspray and underspray and all kinds of spray. So what you can do is you can course play the uh, the seeding. Now, first I I have delineated this field. This field is field oh good grief. 22. <laughs> uh and to delineate a field, all I did is I drove around it. There's load. Okay, so somewhere there's there's a start point. I think it's in the opposite corner. But basically all I did was drive around the field to, to create an outline of the outside of the field. Now, I'm going to come here and we're going to do fertilizer and seeding. Now, we're going to go here to my my width section. Now, this is a 36 meter spreader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my working width and they give us a little line. So I'm just going to increase my working width. I'm going to want to go all the way up to 36. Now I can go a little bit short if I don't mind a little bit of overspray. But why? Is that right? It's got to be right. Is it a 36? <laughs> Durr, I don't know. Let's go look. And this is why it's so important for modders when they create this kind of equipment to tell us how wide everything is. Yes, I have a 36 meter working width. Without this information, it becomes very difficult to do these courses. So I have a 36 meter. So I need to move him a little bit. All right, now. <laughs> I can have a starting corner, and in this case, this is the southwestern corner. How about that? Starting direction, I'm going to be heading east that direction. I can have a headland, and a headland is just this land along the top here. So if I want, I can have a, a one lane before or one lane after headland. I don't even bother, because honestly, I don't need the headland here. Now, I hit generate course okay so there's my starting point right there I'll just take this guy and I'll put him up here like that there all right so first I drew a, I drew a line around this entire field by driving around it and creating a course that I saved then I go to this thing, which is the fertilizing and seeding course, I set myself a working width, my starting corner, my direction. Uh, I don't return to my first point because there's really no point in doing that. I can choose a headline if I want, and then I generated the course. Now that the course is here, there we go. Perfection. And I don't have to do it. <coughs> <laughs> All right, now what we do need to do is we need to go get this guy over here because he's going to sit here idling until um, until kingdom come. So let's run over here and get him. There you go. That's how you uh, generate a course for fertilizing. Very simple. All right, now this guy's done. So we're going to go here, stop driver. Away we go. Run him up here. We're going to empty out the harvester. Then we'll prep the harvester for um, Did you turn off? Why did you turn off when I jumped out of you? Who knows, right?
<laughs> I missed by like millimeters. There we go. Unloading. All right, we're gonna take big smoke, big smoky here. I'm gonna take him over and I think we're gonna wait on the wheat. I think we're gonna give him a bath here at the uh, at this thing, and we're gonna wait until the last wheat is grown on that other field there. So. Out. All right, let's go get the other tractor. Now, what's the advantage, you say, of coursing the fertilizer? He turns off the bleeding fertilizer at the end of the field. That, to me, is merely important because I don't have any spray on this stuff. And therefore, I'm not losing any money. When, see, watch, he'll stop. And he turns off his fertilizer. See? Unlike when you attach it to the front of your vehicle that you then hire a worker to seed. He doesn't do that. He does miss a little bit, but it's all right. It's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. All right, we're going to run the flagel over here to the canola barn. Barn? I just thought about what I said. Canola barn. What? What are these words? Alright. Alright. 82,000 liters of canola to go with our 7,000 liters of barley that we could give to our pigs, but I'm being lazy about feeding the pigs right now. Now we're going to give the cows their uh, their f fud, forage fud, not forage, mixed ration. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah. All right. Let's get in here. This should be modded to accept mixed ration, except for it's not. Oh wait, maybe it is, and I'm just. Not close enough. Eh, there it is. And there. I don't want to take too much because the last thing I really want is to have to deal with figuring out how to unload it. There you go, cows. Nice. We should be happy cows now. And they say happy cows come from California. It's not true. Happy cows come from Colorado. All right. So now let's park this over here in preparation for our wheat harvest. There. That's a perfect spot. Well, not perfect, but it's a working spot for now. Put the John Deere there. All right, how's he doing? I don't even know. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Look at that. All that time saved. All right, let's wash this thing really fast. Yay, washing the harvester. Washing the harvester. Yay, it's all clean now. All right, cool. Excellent. That's what I bought that for. Nice, clean, happy heart. The barrio head is not clean. 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 You must be clean. There we go. Magically, my, my my cable thing just got stuck or something. I don't know. All right. Coolio. So we got to get the wheat going. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to advance time until I get that sorted. And then we'll do that. Yeah. Stuff. Words. Things. 
All right, I'm going to go check out the lambs really quick again. My friends, the lambs. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'll get the lamb isn't here yet. Huh. I don't know what happened to him. He's apparently in two hours and ten minutes now. Huh. Interesting. All right. Oh, look at that. He's already done. Cool. There you go. That's how you course a fertilizer run. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next time down on the farm here in Colorado. I've been there, Tebbers, playing Farming Simulator 2013. Bye.